looking for the opportunity. Excited about playing Auburn. <coughs> We've got a great opponent watching them on film. They're, they're dynamic and make plays on offense, defense, special teams. Won games a lot of different ways and uh, very well coached and uh, will be a great opportunity and great challenge for our team. I coached him and recruited him and uh, he was a very good quarterback at Auburn and you know he had a couple good years, he had some good years here and did a nice job recruiting and coaching. I mean he's got a great future in the game and uh, I'm sure we'll have be in the game for a long time. First of all is tempo. First of all they have tempo and they have good players. They have very good players. The back is a very good player. The quarterback is very dynamic and run it. They create problems with the edge, with the uh, motions, which you know you got to set edges and they get out and flank you. And then when they do, you make you have to be gap control sound inside. And uh, and they go at a high tempo. I mean, good players, well coached, can run. Different guys can carry the ball. Then they'll throw you know the occasional deep ball guys and create big plays that way. But then the tempo. I mean, it, it's a combination of all those things, and they execute it very well. There's a feel. There's a a way you do things and how you get there. And then whether you win it all or not and what you let slip or you didn't let slip, it's all an education process. But once you become a champion, you, there's a different feel because you understand the process of how to handle those moments and how to deal with the offseason and, and all the things that go with preparing for a championship. I mean, it was extremely critical. You know, we've dealt with some plays in some big games, and, and hopefully that's why I say here, being a Florida State, you got to get used to that. And we've got to, again, stay true to the process about, you know, one day at a time and control what you can control. And, and that's, that's how we'll approach it, and that's how we'll try to address it. I, I've said before, he's very mature above his years. He's very intelligent. He's a tremendous team guy. I think that's two things. His drive for teamwork and winning, ultimately not being an individual guy, and in his drive to be great individually for his team, I think are two things that keep that in perspective for him. I don't. I build a team. I think I win a championship. I ain't worried about that. I coached in the SEC 13 years, and I know the good and the bad. I know the propaganda and the truth. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I've been in. It's a great league. Great coaches. They they love it, but. You know, I, I, we build our team not based off an SEC team. If it's like some of them, that, that's great. But we build one that we think what will win us a championship.